Hello, we're Computer Assistance, an IT company based in Oxfordshire. Today we're here to talk about an exciting new technology uh, that will allow you to connect to the internet anywhere around the world. Yes, today we are talking about Starlink. Introduced on the 23rd of May 2019, Starlink is a satellite network ran and developed by SpaceX to provide internet connectivity anywhere around the world. All of this is possible with SpaceX's Satellite Constellation Network. First starting off with only 60 satellites orbiting the world, they have since expanded to over 1,000 satellites orbiting at any one time, allowing seamless and fast connectivity to the internet no matter where you are. Or so they say, and that's what we're here to test today. So. We're going to open the box up, show you what you get with your Starlink purchase. We're going to show you how to set it up for the first time. And then we're going to run a couple of speed tests to see what connectivity we get, as well as what we would recommend on using this device for. So let's pop open the box and see what we get. Inside the Starlink sleek box includes the main satellite dish which is connected to a 100-foot Ethernet cable. Also included is a power cable with a 56-volt power brick, providing the required power over Ethernet, which we'll refer to as PoE, to the dish. Furthermore, you also get a metal tripod for the dish to stand on and a silver Starlink router, which also requires PoE as it does not contain a DC socket. Setting up the Starlink is simple. There are a few prerequisites such as the Starlink app. This must be installed on a mobile device with support for both Android or iOS. The power lead must be connected to a plug socket and all cables are connected through the power brick which are colour coded according to where they are placed in the unit. Once everything has been plugged in and the cables have been connected from the power brick to the router and the satellite dish, we will take this to the app, where you can go through account creation and router setup via on-screen instructions. There are additional add-ons for Starlink such as mounts for the roof or wall, but these do come as an additional cost and are not included with the base model. Once the app has been set up and the mobile device is connected to the Starlink, it will start to search for the satellite constellation, where the dish will move automatically to the closest satellite orbiting across it. Once it has found the satellite, it will start putting out a wireless signal, providing a connection to the device. Now that we're connected, it's time for the important bit. Let's see what speed Starlink can provide so far, as well as our ping, or latency, to the connected satellite. So there you have it. You've seen what's in the box for Starlink, how easy it is to set up for the first time, and what sort of speeds you can expect when using this yourself. As you saw with our tests, we received 100 megabits per second down and 50 megabits per second up consistently whilst we were using the network. We also noticed a couple of issues once the camera was turned off. You see, as the dish reconnects from one satellite to the next, depending on which is closer to you, we did notice packet loss and a few connection drops during this process. We wanted to test this further by running some of our servers and services through this line to really stress the throughput and see if the connection is stable enough to run services like this so far. And unfortunately, the problems that I mentioned were too much for this to be a consistent service for customers. So if you are a business customer out there looking for another internet solution, I would stick with a managed business network line from your ISP in your country. Starlink, however, are aware of these issues and are constantly rolling out new versions of their satellites with the latest technology and replacing the older ones in their satellite constellation to iron out these issues as soon as possible. So how does this compare to running a conventional internet line into your house via an internet service provider and mobile network with roaming charges. 
Starlink does have an upfront hardware cost of 499 US dollars and then subsequently a 99 dollars a month fee associated with running the service. Prices will vary in different countries but that is the most consistent. Now this is quite an expensive amount to pay for setting something like this up, especially with the speeds that we're getting compared to the average speed you'd expect in 2022. However, with an internet service provider, it can be a little bit more problematic. As with an internet service provider, they will need to not only charge you for the installation, they'll also need to set some time aside to run the cable into your house and thus get you connected. And this can take quite a bit of time to get set up and you may be stuck in a waiting queue for quite some time. There's also the problem of availability. If you happen to live in an area where no ISPs can reach you with a strong connection or a good network connectivity, then you may be stuck with speeds much slower than others around you. With a mobile network, it's also the same premise. You'll need to get yourself a mobile router and a SIM card that you can load roaming data onto. However, some network carriers do charge by the gigabyte, so you may find that if you're using this network a lot, it's going to be a little bit more expensive per month than you would expect using Starlink or a conventional internet line. There's also the limitation of availability and accessibility. Depending on where your mobile network towers are, you may not have the signal strength to get a consistent 4G or 5G network connectivity to the mobile network, thus making your speeds potentially slower than what Starlink have to offer. So in that instance, despite the fact that Starlink is quite expensive and does have a few connectivity issues at the moment that they are ironing out, Starlink does edge ahead when it comes to accessibility, as you are able to run this almost anywhere in the world and get a consistent connection to the internet. That's it from us at Computer Assistance. If you like what you see, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and get notified to let you know when our next video is available. Thank you for watching.